Greetings YouTube, Mr. Sif here, and welcome back to part two of my little series called Tour of Dragoria, where I take my final walk through my two-year-old PvP RPG first ever Minecraft map that I've played for the past two years called Dragoria. And uh, if you watched last episode, you know right now we are at the Watchtower above the Savage Lands. We checked out the south last episode. We showed you everything. We showed you prisons and goblins and madrox and drunken kings who were assassinated and blah blah blah. But now we're gonna go north a little bit more. We're passing the wall and once you pass this wall, you are officially on dragon property. This, people would always start the game and be like, oh my god, is that your castle? Because they would see this big epic fucking shit with all the faces of our family. Each color is a different family uh, kingdom. And uh, mine's the red one down there. Hey, I see you peeking. Anyways. So, people would say, is this your castle? Because they would see the, the, the wall. And we'd be like, no. That's our front yard. That's, that's the fence. That's our property line. And now, what you saw in the last episode was beautiful and all, but uh, the farther I take you north, the larger the structures get and the more epic they are. Um, before I go, I'd like to say one more thing about the Dragon Mountain that we worship. Every single burning piece of netherrack you see was placed there by a knight who killed a savage. When you kill your first savage, you go up on that mountain and you fucking put one up there and you light it. And if you kill savages in wars, or you kill anybody in a war, you go up there and you light one. It's your given right as a Dragonite to, to forever remember your kill. There was a lot more kills than what you see there, but those, those were important kills. Anyways, here we go. Whew! Now, I know a few people didn't watch the last episode, and I'm okay with that. You know why? You know why? Because the people who did watch it, they... They left comments saying they loved it, and, well, thank you very much. I love this world, and as I said last episode, I really need to fucking do this for myself. We played this map for two years, and if I don't take one last walk through it all, I don't think I'll ever be right again. Uh, hey look, my friend Dumbo is making that out in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, hey Dumbo, look at your house being built! Savage. Um, okay. So as we walk across this wall, which I told you took like two weeks for eight people to make, it's one of our greatest works, the Great Wall, the Dragon Wall, you will eventually come to a compound, um, which is the Empire of Brock, and my, my good friend Edel Brock, get out of here, made this castle over here. Now, what can I tell you about Brock? He was the retarded king. Uh, at the time, he was doing a YouTube channel called The Retarded Commentator, and uh, he recently uh, quit doing video games, but before he did, he was King Brock, the Retarded King, here in Dragoria. And he was a brave man. He decided he wanted to live as close as possible to the Savage Lands, right on the wall, right near the dragon, so he could be the first line of defense. His little compound here was beautiful, it was filled with animals, he used to pay big money for meat because he's a meat eater and a hunter, and, and he's a good friend of mine. He built this tower, and it just kept going up and up, it was never finished, but I believe he wanted to go to the, to the, to the height limit of the map, which is absolutely retarded, but, oh shit, something's shooting me, get away from me, but that's what you expect of the retarded commentator, oh look at that over there, what's that, oh the lapis tower. That's fucking mountain. We'll be talking about that in a minute. Anyway, so Brock's empire was great. It was run by by King Brock, and his head knight was Creeper24, another one of my best YouTube friends who runs the channel Creeper24, Creeper which is all about gaming and fixing computers and stuff. Great guy. Um, they ran this kingdom. It was wonderful. They paid big money for meat, and uh, if you ever had a cow you found, bring it here. Sell it to them, and they would keep it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm fucking lost. I'm getting shot and everything's bad. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, fuck. Who the... Uh, who is it? Brock, your fucking land is haunted, bro. I'm hurt. I'm fucking hurt. Whoa. Whew. So, yeah. That's uh, Brock's land. 
I know he was a big miner. We we uh, did a lot of trade together, and I miss him. I miss you, Brock. If you're watching this, dude, I fucking miss you. I hope you come back to video games soon. I know you're, you're focusing your life on more important things, but really, what is more important than playing Minecraft with your friends? For real, nothing. 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 All right. As we go, we come to Jay Fuggin Mountain. Jay Fuggin, great night. One, one of my, my original nights when I only had a few when we first started, before I even had a castle. He arrived as a savage who saved us in a dungeon in a mine shaft where we were being attacked by poisonous spiders. We all had a half a heart, no food, no tools. We were trapped. I didn't know what to do. I was a noob. And this savage came, he, he came out of the wall and saved us. He saved us. Jay Fuggit. Jay Fuggett was known to spend his entire life underground. He only came up for war. Other than that, he was not a builder. He was not a farmer. He was not a lover. He was not a hater. He was a miner. He was the world's first master miner. The entire Dragon Wall was almost completely funded by him. All he did was mine, mine, mine. 24-7. You could go underground till this day and find secret camps that he has underground filled with treasures and diamonds and armors. I actually found a suit of full diamond armor once in one of his camps and I put it in my museum. Uh, he loves Lapez, as you can see. I think I'm saying that right. And uh, this is his, his mountain, which gives you a beautiful view of the wall that goes forever and ever. The dragon's back there. Hey, dragon, looking pretty. And there's uh, Brock's tower. Over there is George's compound. We'll be hitting that in a minute. And uh, there's something I always wanted to do, and if this don't work, I'm gonna fuck up the video. Always wanted to jump off this mountain, so... Oh, dragon, guide me! Oh man, am I gonna make it? Oh yeah, baby! Splash down! Uh. Now fuck it, the, the funniest thing about fuck it is he was the biggest miner we ever had. He never fucking left the ground. And eventually, the fungus dwarves, the mushroom dwarves, joined and became a race. And at that time, Fugget had quit playing because he lost his Xbox for about a year. And these mushroom dwarves heard the stories about Fugget being the master miner, and they decided to worship him as a god. So, he was the first Dragonite to become a god. And he was worshipped by the fungus dwarves, and then he returned to playing after like a year. And... It was just weird seeing the fungus dwarves god return. Unfortunately, the fungus dwarves were caught doing illegal things, and we went to war, and we genocided them, we blew up their shit, and, uh, yeah, they were they were killed and destroyed. So, sorry, mushroom dwarves. Should've, should've, uh, played a little bit more legit. But they were good guys. This is George. George's compound, uh, Lord George is, uh, the owner of this property. He's not really a king because he is still my first knight and you can't be a king when you're somebody's knight. You know, you're still service to the crown kind of thing. And he never ever wanted to leave as service of the crown. He loved defending my castle. Every king has a first knight. Your first knight is your military uh, chief. He's the guy who runs what's going on in the military world. And George was great. He fucking killed everybody who ever came north. He was always paying attention. He was a great police officer, knight, hero, paladin, whatever you want to call him, war hero, rock star. So I always kept telling him, you should have your own kingdom. And he kept saying, well, I don't want to, I don't want to quit my job. I like defending the north. So we commissioned a piece of land to him to be owned. And this is what he built. Beautiful house. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Oh, it's under construction. There's a creeper in there. And it looks like the floor is missing. He's always working on stuff. What's this? Oh, sacred chicken. Kill it and be killed. That's another thing. Animalism. Uh, Dragorians fucking always hoard animals. If you could capture all the animals on the map and pen them up so nobody else could have animals, you uh, could sell everything that comes out of animals because nobody else could get them. So, like, all the chickens are locked up on this map, or were. They're not anymore. I think they glitched out when the server reloaded over time or whatever. Every once in a while that would happen. All the penned animals would glitch and escape. But, for a long time, for the majority of this map, I had all the chickens, except for, like, three or four. 
So I made big bucks selling arrows, because that's all that matters, dude. Making money, making money, because that's all Dragonites care about, wealth and pretty things. If you could build pretty or own pretty things or have lots of money, you're a good Dragonite. We don't care about good. We don't care about evil. We only care about rich, poor, strong, powerful. That's it. Weakness is bad. This is Pig Thulu's house. Uh, you've seen it in past episodes. It's completely destroyed because somebody attacked it. Um, some people say it was the Cult of Blaze, but I'm not too sure. Am I? Am I, Pilgrim? Am I, Wolverine? <laughs> but, it used to be a beautiful castle, but it's destroyed now, so I'm not gonna waste too much time trying to show you what it used to be. But it was gorgeous. It was a gorgeous fucking castle. And now it's, uh, a mess. It's, it's destroyed. Pig Thulu was a great guy, Master Archer, one of my first knights, I know him in real life. He uh, worships the pig, and we are in the pig forest, so if you killed a single pig on this property, he'd have the right to kill you, because that's his sacred animal. He also worships the pig god, which is the god of greed, and we all know the god of greed's gotta be the second best, at least, uh, god in the world, right? He's up there with the rabbit god, which is the god of uh, pretty things, so... Those three gods are my favorite. The the pig, the rabbit, and the dragon. Dragon, of course, being first. Um, as we move right along, since we're talking about gods, bring you over here through the backyard. Ow, ow. Uh, we're moving north now, as you can see. Huh? Huh? This is the Order of the Rose. Uh, a good knight of mine, uh, Boots. Uh, Sir Boots was a uh, heartfelt Boots was a good knight who was born in the Savage Lands and on the first day he was born, Blaze uh, Blaze of Glory, the evil Blaze, came out of nowhere and fucking murdered him like ten times in a row and he kept screaming like, what's going on? Someone help me. And we kept telling him, dude, you're a savage. We don't help savages. So, you know, we felt bad because we heard him getting fucking raped by Blaze and Blaze had already played in here for a long time and killed Dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of savages in in the most horrific violent ways taking all their stuff So finally we came down and we purchased boots We uh, gave him money to work our fields and bring him up north keep him safe turned out to be a great guy We gave him uh, You know the position of knight he served the lands for for quite some time and then eventually he told us he wanted to make a new god uh, the Rose, which is the god of the red rose that grows with the red flower that grows all over Minecraft. And that's how gods are all born in Dragoria. Somebody comes in, starts whispering rumors about some deity living somewhere that represents something, and since Dragonites are pretty uh, superstitious, we don't second guess that shit. We don't fuck with religion. At least I don't. I, you tell me you're a priest of some god, whether I heard of that god or not, I'm not gonna fuck with you, because superstitious. But this was a beautiful church built by heartfelt boots. And I don't really understand the religion too much because it was a newer religion, but I do know that it is a good religion. It worships the red flower. And uh, you would come to the church, give it a red flower, and uh, a priest of the religion would put it in a cauldron of water, say a prayer and a blessing, and then give you the flower back. And wherever you planted that flower, your, your land would be protected by the red rose goddess. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, you know, Red Rose, Red Rose, Red Rose, we worship the Order of the Rose. That is a god I have respect for, and I do pay homage to that god with uh, money and flowers. Because, you know, I, I need all the good gods on my side as I can get. Hell, I'll even take a few evil ones, as long as they protect my shit and make me rich. So, going back... To the coastline of the west. West side! We're gonna come to one of the darkest kingdoms in all of Dragoria. And I hate to say it, he's uh, one of my best friends and dearest uh, knights that I ever had. Uh, in multiple games, he's, he's my good friend Pilgrim. Now, Pilgrim. He came to this game, didn't know what the fuck he was going on. First time I met him was in my front yard trespassing, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know how to play! Which he didn't, he really didn't know how to play. He still doesn't actually, because he's kind of fucking retarded, but... 
I don't mean that rude against like regular retarded people. Regular retarded people are much better off than Pilgrim. He's got some weird, fucked up kind of retard going on. No offense. So anyways, as we approach this island out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There it is. There it is. This island, if you look on the map that I'm heading towards, was completely created in the middle of the ocean by Pilgrim. Pilgrim built this giant fucking castle with a huge wall around it out in the middle uh, out in the middle of the ocean and everybody who knows him was fucking shocked because we didn't think there was a creative bone in this motherfucker's body because he's dead inside, you know what I mean? So Pilgrim joined, came to my front yard, he attacked me on my front yard because he thought I was a, a monster and I was like, what the fuck? True story. And he became one of my knights. We gave him a room, he, he did his duty, he fucking mined, he, he fought some, some battles for the team, and he was very, very loyal. So eventually, we gave him this land out in the middle of the ocean, because he was like, I want a kingdom. And I was like, well, where do you want your land? Because when you get a kingdom, you go on a nature walk with your king, and, and, and you show him where you want to build, and then everybody votes on if that's a good spot. And he was like, I want the ocean. And we were like, what? He's like, I want to build a fucking island out in the ocean. We were like, cool, man. Fucking farther away from us, the better. So, look at this giant compound out in the middle of the goddamn ocean. It's huge. He built this shit. And he took Wolverine as, as his uh, partner. Now, they keep telling me one's the queen, the other's the king. As far as I'm concerned, they're both bitches. And they built this. They became the Grimites. And the Grimites were the first Dragonites to break two of our major laws. We do not murder, and we do not lie. They have been caught multiple times lying, and I remember the first time I saw Pilgrim murder somebody, it was a savage who was just walking around, and I was like, oh, I know that savage, that's one of way too many Llama's friends, and he's known for trolling Minecraft sometimes. <laughs> and then fucking Pilgrim ran down there and was like, we'll see about that, and he murdered him. So, I don't want to say who it was in case there's hard feelings. But he got murdered and then Pilgrim kicked him. Because that's the rule in this world. If you get killed by another player, you get kicked. So, I said, Grim, what did you do? You killed him for no reason. He was like, fuck that. I cut, I cut a problem out before it became a problem. I was like, that's actually called murder. And he was like, where I come from, it's called, uh, I don't know what he said. Something dumb. And then he laughed. Ha 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 ha. What a dick. So... As we move on, we're going across the ocean again. Fuck. Ugh. We're coming to a palace known as Fatalis Palace, which has a very long and complicated history. It originally was owned by... Oh my god, am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. I'm drowning. Hold on. Oh, no. No, Stacy. Stacy, how could you put a backyard in there? You fuck. Fatalis Palace was first owned by Evil Anna. Evil Anna turned out to be some fucking weird bitch. And Evil Anna, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You were full of shit. Every day you had either cancer or fucking abducted by aliens. Or, oh, I can't play today. I was raped by a biker gang. Or, and like, every day was a new story with this bitch. And she was so rude to all our squeakers. Because down south, there's a lot of young kids who play. We can't stop them. Half my friends list is my kids' friends. So they would come in here. She started yelling at them and shit. And then she yelled at my boy fucking George about shit. And I was like, bitch. Finally, I was like, bitch, why are you yelling at people? And she's like, did you just call me a bitch? I'm like, yes. Because you're a bitch. <laughs> and fucking from there... It got crazy and she quit. So anyways, Anna built a castle out here. And the shit was ugly as fuck. And you could see it from my castle. As you can tell, my castle's up there in the distance. Look at that. Look at that. That's mine back there. We'll get there in the last episode. But Anna built a castle out here and that shit was fucking ugly. I mean, ugly! The shit was ugly. And the bitch was bragging too. She was like, I'm the best builder. People come to my world and they are just amazed by my building skills because I am the best builder you have ever seen. I was like, well, oh, I do some building too. Maybe we should see each other's builds, baby. What's up? Hi. Right? And she was like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. My building is better than your building. I was like, well, you didn't see my building and I haven't seen yours. So why don't you come to my world and uh, we'll look at it, you know? Because that's my buildings out there. Look at them shits. Yo, mouthwatering preview. 
And this bitch built something that was so fucking ugly. I was like, really? She said, yes, I built great. I'm like, fuck you. Okay, Stacy, I'm putting a hole in your fence. I'm sorry. There's some automated system that opens this shit. Now, after she left, we got in a fight. She left. Uh, Lady Stiletto came out here. And she built the most beautiful castle. As you can see, it's 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 gorgeous. Look at that. Fatalis Palace is one of the greatest um, property builds on the entire map. It's just gorgeous. And there's the throne. And it was great. It, 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 great, great property. She she was a war hero. She killed Blaze. The whole fucking thing is on fire. Blaze. Yeah. She was the one who defeated Blaze in the war versus uh, all the Dragonite Kingdoms versus uh, Pilgrims Grimites, which was just a sad war. And she was the one who finally put Blaze in his grave to make him an undead demonite. So. This was all built out here, and Lady Stiletto served out here, and then finally when, when she stopped coming around, her head knight, uh, Stacy, took over and turned it into the kingdom of bitches. So, hey, I'm not saying it. That's what she says. She says, this is for bitches. Hey, bitch. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so this is the bitch kingdom. Chicks come out here, and they fucking rule with an iron hand. So don't go fucking around. Other than that... Beautiful fucking castle. Just absolutely amazing. I could walk on this property for a long time and just show you the detail. I mean, the walkways, the fountains, the fucking color scheme. <clears throat> Stiletto had an eye for design. For sure. For sure. I mean, beautiful property. Alright, with that said, where do I gotta go now? Where do I gotta go now? Fuck, how much time do I have left? We saw pretty much everything over here. Mm -mm -mm. I guess we'll go all the way back to the Savage Lands. Oh man, I'm starving. If you see my controller glitching, it's because this shit's broken and I need a new one. Hashtag need new controller. Alright. So, we kept playing these games and we kept having wars and friendships and... and treasures and mining and fuck it was just amazing it was really fucking amazing ow oh my god what's that is that is that what i think it is guys guys did you see that down there that light is that the lost cave of the water god i hope so guys this might be the water god if so you're in for a treat uh, what is this uh, uh. Are we going to see the water god? Uh. The water god. We used to have the water god down south. And fucking... The orcs destroyed it. The orcs uh, used the water god's water. Stole her. And uh, used it to grow their god. Which was the tree of life. And those motherfuckers killed the water god for their god. So we killed their god, the Tree of Life. Well, I didn't. Somebody else burned it down. And we always said that one day we will find the water god. We'll find him, her, it. And it will be unmistakable. So one day somebody found this ca cave. I was there. And uh, we found this. And we figured that is the water god. So there you go, people. Water god, water god, water god. And that's that. Now, as we're going back up, let's talk about some things. We're going to work our way back to the to the castle, but we're going to talk about a few things. Now, I see a bunch of comments, people asking, when are you going to run the new game? Well, that's going to be ran in like a week or two. It's going to be on PS4. It's going to have a name, and every single subscriber is allowed to join. We're going to have a system that allows a rotation of players constantly, and people are just allowed to walk in. Just send a friend request to Mr. Sif. No space in the middle. Just I'm putting it on the screen right there. Look at that. Just send a friend request to that name. Get on my friend request uh, list thingy on PlayStation 4. What do I got? 2,000 spaces? So I could 
pretty much grab a bunch of you guys. Come and play the game with us. You will love it. It's gonna be a new world. Nobody has nothing. Everybody's poor, starting off from scratch. And the world's gonna just grow, like this one did. Everybody's gonna be allowed to play. Somebody was like, well, does the host use his privileges or cheat or whatever? Can savages do whatever they want or will they get kicked? Look, in Dragoria, you can do whatever the hell you want. Blaze himself tested how far you can go. I mean, he robbed and blew up entire castles. We put him in jail cells over and over and over and over. And it was good times. Good times. I mean... So, if you, if you want to come into the new world and troll it, you go right ahead. We deal with trolls all the time, and it's no problem for us. But, I will tell you, if you start building stuff, you will eventually want to probably defend the map. Because that's what Dragorians do. We defend the map from scumbags and trolls and destroyers and enemies. And if you want to come and join to either help us or destroy us, we're down. Hey, living! Look, it's your first house! your first Minecraft house ever. This was before you even had a world. You came... Oh, Living, I just blew up your fucking first house. <laughs> living was a holy man. There's a lot of gods in Minecraft and uh, in our Dragorian Minecraft world. And we worship them all and whatever. And then Living joined and he worshipped a weird god that we never heard of before called uh, Jesus Christ. And he started a church of Jesus Christ. And nobody fucked with him because... I don't know if you've heard about Jesus Christ, but he told us all about him. Apparently the dude could do miracles, come back from the dead, uh, resurrect people, I think. I don't know if he sucked blood. I don't... I don't... I don't know. The way he explained it, you don't want to mess with the guy. So he just started making a church out of my backyard and I didn't stop him. He re he's real religious in real life, but when you're in in Dragoria, there is no real life. We don't we don't talk about real life. There's only Dragoria life. So when people come in, they're like, "Sorry, I'm late, bro. I was working at Walmart. I had to do a double shift to unload some trucks." We're like, "What the fuck's a truck? What the fuck's a Walmart? I know about the Dragon Wall. What are you talking about?" And that's just the way it works. So now we're coming back to the Watchtower, where. Uh, series starts and ends once again, or the episode, or whatever. Look, I know this is not the greatest fucking video, and I know it's really not that fun for most of you, but I really would like to see some of you people come out and try the new map, and I'm hoping that this map, telling you stories about it, will get your, your mouth watering for some adventure, some chaos that's coming in the new world. Um, I might as well tell everybody what the new world is going to be called. The new world is going to be called Aerogard. Uh, I don't know what we're going to call it either. Guardians of Aerogard, Heroes of Aerogard, maybe just Aerogard, Aerogard the Dark Ages. I mean, these are all names we've been thinking of. We, if you guys could think of a good name for Aerogard, I mean, the series, tell me. If not, who knows. But as I said, um, this world has been around for two years. We love it. There's been so much action-packed bullshit that has happened out here. And I hope you enjoyed this fucking adventure that I just took with you uh, through the map. Man, that sounds so stupid. I don't even know what to say. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna end it right here. And you motherfuckers, look at my ass wearing my ceremonial gold armor. Hey, I only wear that shit on special occasions. Because I think you guys is special. Alright, people. Hope to see you in the next episode, and this has been another episode of Tour of Dragoria. Come on, play the song.